ascension And don't you forget to mention When y'all say it's your time, watch how they gotta pay attention In the last days where they'll do anything to be mentioned on an app designed to put your mind in prison This extensive covered in that cost your soul I'm like, surely it's Hey guys, welcome to our penthouse rental here in what you call the CBD, the Central Business District here in Johannesburg. So come on in and take a look. So we have two bedrooms downstairs. And the decor, I love the old feel. I think this building was um, made in the 1940s and they redeveloped it. They brought some architects in. And so you get the old school feel. Had a lot of nice decor. I love this old school tub that they have here. And then this picture of Africa. And what I like about this rental as well too is that they have what they call um, offloading or off shedding here in Johannesburg, um, South Africa, basically all over Africa, where they have set times where they basically cut the power off. So this rental, they have actually set up batteries and similar to a generator, but it's not a generator, but you still can get like some outlets where you can still cook. Then we're gonna come over here to the second bedroom. So bedroom two is, um, I would say nice and quaint, um, but the bed looks very comfortable. And I like the way they did the accent pillows here. And then we're gonna come check out the bathroom right here. We got the glass standalone shower. It's a cute little sink. So I love um, everything that they did with the remodeling of this bathroom like it looks very nice and modern and so now we're gonna take you guys upstairs so come on. all right come on we almost to the top i know it's a workout i just love this old school brick wall you can tell this is from the original building when they created the building and so here we're in the penthouse living room slash kitchen slash sitting area Got your sitting area here. You got this old school wood stove. This is so nice. I love this. So the power go out, you can still get some heat. And of course you can sit here and eat. And we got the um, gas stove and we got all the modern appliances. So I love it. I love the accent of the blue wall right here. Even the design that they did on the roof here is so really nice. They did a really good job. A really really good job and then this is not it there's actually some very narrow stairs upstairs that takes you all the way to the 11th floor and there is a jacuzzi and there's a sitting area and there's this gorgeous view of the Johannesburg city that you can look out and see all right guys come with me out here we're gonna step out on this little mini balcony and see a nice view of the city Right guys, we're gonna step out to this beautiful night view. Here, the city of Johannesburg, they call the CBD, the Central Business District. Shalom family, so as you can see, we still got a little bit of daylight. I wanted to let you guys see some of what we went over yesterday. While it's still daylight. So as you can see, go ahead and step. Go to the top. Keep looking at that one over there. I'm walking up one that is similar, and that is my view looking over. Now I am at the top. It's the view out that way at the top. Pretty Stella. Going through the gate. Wow, right? This is a jacuzzi. And when you get to the top, family. Hallelujah. Beautiful view.
We got the grill. If you want to grill out, you can sit and chill with that beautiful view. So, this is Johannesburg, South Africa. Um, as I was saying before, I will be doing a video where I compare what we've experienced so far with in Egypt and what we saw, what it would feel like living there versus Ghana versus South Africa. And I've got to be honest with you guys, a lot of the things that I heard about South Africa before I got here was debunked my first 10, 20 minutes here. Um, and this should definitely be the number one destination if you are coming from the diaspora, coming here. And it's deeper reasons for that. Me personally, I believe that this is a part of true Yasharel. Um, what you'll see on some of the videos uh, that we'll be dropping, some of the vlogs that we'll be dropping as far as the diamonds, the gold, the different things about this land and what this land has, you'll understand why also looking at some of the older maps of this place and having the understanding that they have flipped the maps upside down. Like I say to people all the time, and this is coming to my people who understand this stuff, if they'll lie to you about the people, you know they'll lie to you about the place of where true Yasharel is. And when you read the scriptures and you understand the land, the land of all lands is what was given to our forefather Abraham, the land that had the most resources, the land that had all the animals, the land that had everything. I think they call it the either Big Five or Big Six, which is six here and only a few other places. And I believe that all of those places are a part of the promised land. Hallelujah. I'm one that would go as far as saying that, yeah, our land may extend all the way up into being a part of what they're trying to say is true Israel. But of course, we know it's way too small to be what they said was Abraham's. When you look at the fact that they originally wanted to um, place, uh, they originally wanted to establish a quote unquote Jewish state in Rwanda, I believe it is. I'll play this short little clip on that. What if the Jewish state had been established in Uganda, not Israel? But actually, that last one, it's kind of a thing. Turns out, even Theodor Herzl, this guy, as in the father of the Zionist movement, had briefly considered East Africa in his search for a Jewish state. All right, so. With all that being said, it's not just your money goes way farther here. It's not just that. It's also that this is a part of our promised land. And I believe ultimately this is where the part of the wilderness where y'all will be protecting and covering us during the times that are vastly approaching is. I believe it's here. I believe it's part of here, part of Namibia, which this sits on the coast. I think it's less than a three and a half hour drive from where I'm at right now, and I'll be in Namibia. So uh, it's it's so much, guys, but definitely want to bring you this. South Africa is amazing, as you can see, extremely developed. On a scale from one to 10 with development, there are 10. Uh, I would say Egypt is a I would say Egypt is a four and Ghana is a three. Just being honest, um, I feel I feel Ghana could easily be an eight, but I feel that um, they don't prioritize development. The government is not doing what they can do. When you look at what was done with the year return till now, the amount of money that was brought in, it could be vastly more done in that country and a lot more of the people are suffering for that reason uh, but wherever you decide to go you know you have to understand that you'll be up under that government we see that the west has a heavy influence over certain places um, but also i feel that certain places will be given back <laughs> to say the least um, and it won't be Hamite territory for those who understand what I'm saying. Um, but I don't want to go into that stuff too much right now. I'm going to keep this video what it is. It's showing you what it's like to transition. 
and when it's time for me to do the compare and the contrast video i will if you're looking forward to that one put it down in the comment make sure you like make sure you subscribe as always i try to bring you the best content that i possibly can we want to improve it we want to get some new things some new equipment that will help us uh, make sure that it is on point. If you would like to sew into that and you're in the States, you can do so via Cash App. Or uh, if you would like to send a Momo, let me know. We'll send you the information. All praises to the Most High. Yeah. PayPal is the PayPal email. Uh, and once again, I give you one more look at my view. And I'm out of here, guys. I wish I could see the sunset. I probably could find it, but if you can see it's turning. Turning on me. All praises to the most high. Tough times, what you know about him? Boat sank and I can row about it. You reach deep down and scoop me right about it. It gave me big faith, I can throw a mountain. I was riding them boats in the valley. Path tougher than a New York alley. A rock and red on the road street in Cali. Buddy saved me and never kept a tally. And now I'm bald like I'm Tulsa Alice.